If you can survive this, you can survive basically anything. Inflation across the United States is at a 30-year high, and San Diegans are getting crunched. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn spoke to mom and pop businesses with no choice but to raise prices. Pastrami, deli mustard and pickles, you can't go wrong with that. Joseph Karadakis says the goal at Mission Valley's Greater Grilled Cheese is to create new spins on the classic comfort food. But building all those concoctions has never been more pricey because Joseph says wholesale prices for his main ingredients, cheese, bread, and butter, have all shot up in the last year. Everything is getting more expensive, and I think that people can see that going to from going to restaurants back to going to the grocery store. On Wednesday, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported annual inflation at 6.2%, the highest annual growth rate since 1990. A shortage of workers has raised wages, gas prices have increased transportation costs, and supply chain back Backups at ports have led to price hikes for all sorts of goods. Creamy, smooth. Over at Paradise Yogurt. Always consistently great. Owner Julie Tice says she's been walloped by increases in the price of dairy, rent, insurance, and supplies like styrofoam cups. If I raise my prices according to the percentage, I would lose probably half my customers. That's why she's only hiked her prices about 2%. As for when this could end, economists hope the rate of annual inflation cools off to 3 or 4% over the next year. John Horn, ABC 10 News. And over the year, food prices rose about 5.3%, virtually the same at restaurants and grocery stores from September to October. Prices overall ro rose 0.9%.